Hi everyone, in this video we will learn Z-test. But before starting Z-test, that's the most important. First, we have to understand difference between T-test and Z-test. So Z-test, we are going to apply when our sample size is greater than 30 and variance is known. But T-test, when variance is unknown and sample size is less than 30. So in this video, I'm going to start Z-test. I will take one example of a student's marks. And after that, we will calculate this Z-test with the help of this Excel. But before starting this, I just want to tell you how you are going to calculate Z-test manually. So first of all, uh, Z-test to test a hypothesis about population mean. Here is null hypothesis means there is no difference between hypothesized mean and actual mean. But alternate hypothesis means these both these means are not equal. It said these are equal. Hypothesized mean and actual mean, these are equal. But it said these are not equal. Either H1 would be, this mean is would be less than from hypothesized mean or it can be greater than. So, if alpha is the significance level, test statistics is that would be the formula, z test, z value, and this one is the uh, mean of that particular sample minus mu standard deviation divided by under root n. That is sample mean, that is population mean, this is population standard deviation, and this is sample mean, sample size not mean sample size. So what we have to do, our uh, question is, I have taken a hypothetical question is, an insurance agent claims that the average age of policy holders insured through him is less than 32 years. To check on this claim, a random sample of 100 policy holders insured through him is selected and it is found that average age of these selected 100 policy holders was 31 years with a standard deviation of 5 years. So do you think that agent's claim is true? So if we would like to test this hypothesis, what we have to do, we have to go through Z test. So null hypothesis, that means that is 32. That means those are the holders, insurance policy holders, they insured through him is less than 32 years. So it's it said that is equal to 32 years and null hypothesis is, uh, this one is the alternate hypothesis is mu less than 32 years. So let's alpha be 5%, that means 95% confidence interval we are, we are testing. Given mean value is 31 and standard deviation is 5 is already given in this question. So how we have to solve manually? Simply we would apply the same formula and 31 that is the mean value you can see here that is the 31 is the sample mean and 32 is your population mean and after that 5 is our uh, this one is the standard deviation and divided by sample size. Sample size is 100. So value is minus 2. So how we have to interpret this result? We will interpret this result. You can see critical value of Z at 5% alpha for left tail test is minus 1.65. Since calculated value of test statistics is less than critical value. So therefore it falls in rejection reason. Hence null H naught is rejected. That means a null hypothesis is rejected. And what do you mean by confidence interval is the mean of your estimate plus minus the variation in that estimate. This is the range of values you expect your estimate to fall between if you redo your test within a certain level of confidence. Confidence in statistics is another way to describe probability. So now what we have to do, I will show you all these values also. Uh, level of confidence 0.99. So that would be the value is 2.576. And when the 0 
critical values. I'm in confidence interval. So that was 2.3. But we are going to check on the 0 0.95. That value is 1.96. So let me start my this Z test. Marks already given here. Marks are given. I have taken my class students marks. This is the hypothetical example. So these marks are, I could say, 1, 2, 76. 76 students marks are here, right? Now, what we have to do, simply, I have just calculated these values, but let me remove. Okay, otherwise, what we have to do, we have to open this test in a new sheet. So, I am going to apply Z-test. This is my null hypothesis. I am taking this mean marks of all these students of this class is 65. But alternate hypothesis said mean marks of this class of all these students are not equal to 65. So, I just want to check which one is the correct, which one is would be accepted, which one would be rejected. Null hypothesis would be accepted or alternate hypothesis would be accepted. So, uh, we, we would not decide this. So, what we have to do before starting this, we need variance also. So, how we are going to calculate variance? Let me tell you, here is you have to simply put here variance, sorry, not variance, equal to we're going to use formula variance and variance of the sample. And simply you have to select this entire data and enter. Then variance is 85.9. And I'm sure 86, that is also the same value. So we will remove this. So variance we had calculated. Now what we have to do, uh, simply we will go there data analysis and data analysis you can see here in this data analysis you have to choose the last one z test two sample for means simply you will select it okay press okay then after that what we have to do variable range variable range first variable range because two sample for means and we are doing we are applying the z test for the one sample test so what we have to do by default because that is only applicable in excel z test two sample for means so how we have to handle this problem so simply what we have to do i am going to select this one is the entire range of my first variable and first variable is this i had selected variable two range and what we have to do variable two range variable two range is this dummy variable we have taken zero because that is the one sample test we i do not have another variable so simply i have to i had created dummy variable that would be zero hypothesize mean difference because there is the no i mean we have only single sample we do not have two samples. So there is no question of hypothesized mean difference. So simply I have hypothesized mean is 65. So I will put it here 65. And variable variance 1, I had already calculated this variance 86, right? And we have taken this one is the 86. I am put it here 86. And next one is another variance is only dummy variable. If we would put zero, it will not accept zero. So what I will do a very uh, small value I would enter here. And after that levels, because definitely I had already come into my calculation consideration levels also, I will take it here. And alpha is 0 0.05. That means I would like to calculate at the 95%. Uh, right. And after that, confidence interval and after that output range also suppose i want at this place only so what i will do you can see here i will just click here and then output would be produced here or uh, some other place we can do that mm, little bit this side so i just want to get output range would be here then i would press ok now you can see here this is my output range and you can see this is the let me bigger this uh, size 24 i think that's better 
So what we will do, because dummy variable, it was the simply created dummy variable. I don't need a dummy variable. So what I will do, I will simply remove this column. Now, this is the and two, two sample. It's not two sample. Simply, I will correct it. One sample. Right? Because I have only one sample. So, now you can see here. Mean value is 61.02. And hypothesized was 65. So, difference also we will remove. Only hypothesized mean. That's all. So, mean value, hypothesized mean was 65. And... Uh, that is the calculated mean is 61. So that means there is a lot of difference. Known variance 86. Observations total number of students marks are 76. Total number of students, those marks I have taken into consideration. These are 76. And now you can see Z value is minus 3.73. And P value at the one tail we can see here. Uh, let me bigger this size. P value that is very, very small. 0 0.000, right? That is very, very small. It's less than 0 0.05. And uh, Z critical value 1.64, one tail. And uh, two tail is 0 0.00187. And Z critical two tail is 1.95, as I have already shown you before that. So what we have to do in this case, which hypothesis would be accepted, which one would be rejected. So obviously p-value is very less than 0 0.05. We are going to reject a null hypothesis. We are going to accept alternate hypothesis. Second reason is z-value. You can see here z-value. That is, I will show you. Let me bigger this size. Right. You can see here. This is the Z value, right? You can see here, when the 95 confidence interval minus 1.960, if it is fall beyond this, that is the rejection reason. And if fall towards this side, in between minus 1.960 plus 1.960, so that means this is an acceptance of the null hypothesis. But R value is beyond this minus 1.60. It's lying here in the rejection reason. Right? That is why we are rejecting null hypothesis and accepting alternate hypothesis. What is our values? Let me check once again. R values is a minus 3.73 and that would be fall beyond these levels. So that would be fall beyond this 1.96. So that is why these are the two reasons why we are accepting null, uh, we are accepting alternate hypothesis, we are rejecting null hypothesis. I'm sure this video would be helpful. So keep watching, stay tuned. Thank you.